first of all, you need to think about your budget and just set aside a set amount of money and this is what I'm prepared to spend on tipping and this is what I'm prepared to spend on gift giving and don't go over them. But who we give, what we traditionally know as tips is people that do a service for us. So it could be someone that walks the dog, it could be your hairdresser, it could be your massage therapist, could be at a restaurant. You certainly don't have to mention this is a holiday tip. You can just say, I'm, I'm so delighted with my service here, thank you so much, or happy holidays, or whatever it is. If you give regular tips to that individual and you're now operating on a limited budget, I would say they already get tipped for their service and that you keep coming back time after time is expressing, expressing gratitude. And perhaps you have some other individuals in your life who you never share that uh, you're pleased with the service they provide. Use the resources that you have to acknowledge those individuals and leave off those that get on a regular basis. Food items are always appreciated, but now we also have to consider people with allergies and healthy food items. Flowers are a good choice, always something festive. So keep it um, not personal items, not intimate items that they might purchase strictly for themselves, but something that they can share with others. If you can give tickets to something, it might be a basketball game or a, a movie ticket. Those are always lovely things because then they get to experience something more. And some of the research about what makes people happiest was done right here in British Columbia at UBC about people are happiest when they give. So think of it not only as a gift for the individual but a gift for, that you're giving yourself to bring some joy to someone else and uh, some pleasure in giving them a little something this time of year.